Glasgow Coma Scale is a neurological scale which is used to record the state of consciousness in acute medical and trauma patients such as stroke or traumatic brain injury. In hospitals, it is used in monitoring patients in intensive care units. When monitoring the patient's conscious level, functional state of the brain is assessed as a whole. Therefore, the GCS measures responses in three categories, the eye opening, verbal response and the motor response. Different levels of responses for each parameter is recorded as a numerical score. The individual scores are summed up to give an overall score. In the case of eye opening, the best response would score a 4, the best verbal response would score a 5, and the best motor response would score a 6. Therefore, 15 is the maximum possible score and 3 is the minimum possible score. The eye opening is the first parameter on the GCS. This assesses the integrity of the reticular activating system. It's concerned with the arousal of the brain in sleep and wakefulness. Eye opening is observed and recorded using the following categories. The patient scores a 4 if he or she opens their eyes spontaneously when approached, which implies that the arousal response is active. The patient scores a 3 if he or she does not open their eyes spontaneously until given a verbal stimulus such as when their name is called. If the patient opens eyes only when a painful stimulus is given, he or she scores a 2. Pain can be stimulated by pressing on the nail bed and increasing the pressure for about 15 seconds. If the painful stimulus does not elicit any response from the patient, this indicates a deep depression of the arousal system and the patient is recorded as having no eye opening and is scored 1. Next to be assessed on the GCS is verbal response. This assesses the area of the brain associated with receptive and expressive speech. Patients are assessed as oriented in person, place and time if they can state their name, where they are and the current month and year. Such patients score 5 on the GCS. If the person is not oriented and the conversation is inappropriate to the question being asked, the patient scores a 4. In this case, the patient is able to produce phrases or sentences but is confused. If the patient offers inappropriate words that make little or no sense, usually only monosyllabic words in response to physical stimulation, he or she scores a 3. But if the verbal response contains indistinct mumbling but no intelligible words, usually a moan in response to painful stimulation, the score is 2. If the patient is unable to produce any verbal response despite prolonged and repeated stimulation, the score remains at 1. The third component on the GCS is motor response. This reflects the function of the cerebral hemispheres, the diencephalon, the brain stem and the corticospinal tracts. Only the best response from the arms is recorded as leg responses to pain are less consistent and may be confused with a simple spinal reflex. Firstly, if the patient has the ability to follow instructions and obey simple commands such as lift up your arms or put out your tongue, then the score is 6. If the patient does not obey commands, an external stimulus must be applied. In the absence of any facial, orbital or skull fractures, pressure can be applied with a thumb over the cranial nerve underlying the supraorbital ridge under the eyebrow. Pressure is gradually increased for a maximum of 15 seconds. An alternative is the trapezius squeeze. Provided the patient has not sustained a cervical fracture, the trapezius muscle is squeezed between the fingers and thumb. Upon applying pressure, if the patient moves their arm across the midline to the level of chin in an attempt to locate the source of pain, the response is recorded as a score of 5. Following the application of a central painful stimulus, either trapezius squeeze or supraorbital ridge pressure, the patient responds by flexing their arm normally by bending their elbow and weakly withdrawing their hand, but no attempt to localize to where the source of pain is made. This response is recorded with a score of 4.
Abnormal flexion with a score of 3 is recorded if patient responds to painful stimulus by bending their elbow with adduction of upper arms and abnormal posturing of wrist and fingers otherwise known as decorticate posturing. Abnormal extension to pain with a score of 2 is recorded if the patient responds to painful stimulation by rigid extension that is straightening of the elbow and hyperpronation of the forearm otherwise known as decerebrate posturing. The response indicates spastic hand and wrist movements with an inward rotation of the shoulders and forearms. A motor response of 1 is recorded when sufficient painful stimulation has been applied to provoke a response but no detectable movement is observed. Each of the parameters are thus assessed individually and the best response for each of the three components is recorded as a numerical score. The individual scores are then summed up to give an overall score. Therefore, 15 is the maximum possible score which indicates that a patient is alert, oriented and able to obey commands. And the minimum possible score is 3 which indicates that a patient is either in deep coma or dead. Brain injury can be classified into three categories based on the GCS score. A GCS of 8 or less indicates severe brain damage. A GCS of 9 to 12 indicates moderate brain damage while a GCS of 13 or more but less than 15 indicates minor damage.